But you know, it's got the most gratifying thing for me as well. You know, I was handing out, um, I think I gave out, uh, we had an event and we gave out 50 bursaries to to the local community to study, you know, BSc mining engineering, mm. or chemical engineering, mm. accountants, they were one or two, they wanted to study teaching and things like that. Um, and I was, I was standing next to a colleague giving out the bursaries where we invited, you know, the parents and the child and giving mm. it out there. So it took profitability and everything. But handing out the bursaries and the mother and father come up to people that would never enter um, the graduate space and the, the and you give out the bursary and you know at that time, you know, you actually change that fundament that family fundamentally. Mm. They now gonna have someone at university that will support that will come out. Generations after that will take a different trajectory and it's gonna have a multiplying effect in society. Mm. And actually this colleague was standing next to me and he says, Mark, this is why we do what we do. Yeah, that's amazing. Just standing looking like yeah. that. It's not really. Mm. The profits enable everything else. You must have mm. profits, mm. but they do enable all of this. Mm. Uh, so that's what mm. moves society forward, I think. Mm. So, so that has I been mean, the, yeah. the joy. In fact, I had a question like that that I wanted to ask you. Uh, and it, it, so, so uh, what is your view of how people run businesses should think about the purpose of their business? Yeah. No, I mean, so, so what are, even if you look at it from a pure profit point of view, what's the objective of making profit? Surely that profit gets recirculated, reinvested and contributes to society and reinvest, you make other businesses. And because I mean, even, even extremely rich people invest their money somewhere mm. and it grows and has a multiply effect and surely mm. that should benefit society. Mm. So, I mean, businesses are, um, societal bodies that get together to further society and society is made up of individuals and humans mm. so i mean if you look at it that way even if you just make profit your objective if you look at the bigger objective and where it goes no. your objective is to benefit society mm. and people mm. so you you don't have to do it only through profit mm. sometimes you can deploy those profits more effectively prior to to making profit mm. so so i i view my job and this mine, we mine, but that's not, that's maybe what we do, but that's not why we come to work. We, we are an, an organization or grouping of people that fundamentally sets out to improve society um, and improve the, the life of people, the livelihood of people. And that's growing them, developing them. So future generations will fundamentally be in a better space because of what we do today. Mm. And that's, at work, in your home environment, in your conversations when you're doing your shopping, surely that is why you exist. Surely you can't wake up in the morning to see how I'm going to destroy yeah. the human species yes, and yes, yes. In, yes, in that, yes. given that you're very much part of that. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, <clears throat> I, I have children and my children will live in the society I create. Mm. So, it is, it is definitely even in my selfish interest to create a better society and better humans mm. so that, you know, at least your, your children will have a much better life. Mm. So no, no, I mean, that's what, that's why you get out of bed. Mm. Um, you don't get out of bed to come to work to deliver tons or profits. Yeah. You get out of bed to make a difference in society.